you're experiencing any sort of pain, back pain like this person, or headache pain, foot pain, maybe just standing on your feet too long, or any kind of emotional pain, heartache, I want to pray for you, the person watching right now, I've seen all kinds of miracles happen. This is from the live yesterday. Somebody's pains all lift and you can check it out and see if I'm on live right now. But I want to pray for you. And but I also want to explain why this stuff is, is happening. I've been doing a series called You Don't Have to Pass Away. You don't have to perish. You can click on the playlist down below. When somebody experiences the goodness of God, especially in something like a supernatural healing or something like that, they're experiencing, they're tasting of the powers of the age to come. Now, you may not be familiar with that verse, but what are we talking about? There's this idea that when people pass away, they go off to live in heaven forever. But actually, this is the world's greatest hotel. <laughs> people don't go off to live in heaven forever it's just it's a waiting room for what's about to happen the age that is to come the bible says the righteous will never be removed from the earth the but the wicked will not inhabit the earth we know that the wicked are inhabiting the earth right now so we know that this is a time in the future but it's important the living righteous the living people the remaining people that are righteous of god are never removed from earth here we have another verse. Earth has been given to man. Earth is man's home. Where does God live? Where does the Lord live? In the heaven. That's, that's the area that belongs to the Lord. Earth belongs to men. That is your home. That's where you were born. I know it's popular for people to say, well, you know, brother, they went home to be with the Lord. And, and people say they just want to go home and that sort of thing, which I understand. But most of that is pastors that have come up with that sort of thing and theologians to make everybody feel better about loss, losing out to the last enemy, which is death. Um, the church should be bringing life to people. All right. Uh, here it says that the dead do not praise the Lord. Okay. Now I'm assuming that that means here on earth, because we know that there's spirits that go to heaven and we, I think it's safe to assume they're praising the Lord while they're there. Okay. But here we see that it's, I think the Lord is showing you how important it is. You're created for your spirit to be in your body, in this physical realm, which is earth. Okay, what is this age to come? It's heaven on earth, as I say. Um, in the age to come, there's a new heaven, a new earth, joined together somehow. I don't think this world is... In a, and by this world, I mean the physical dirt and all that. I don't think it's destroyed. I think it's restored. Just like how you, if you came to Christ, you're, you're being restored. You know, you're not smoked into a heap of ash or something like that. Uh, but you're being, there's a restoration taking place, a renewing, a healing. Again, this is the end of the story. This is from the next to last chapter in the Bible, okay, from the last book of the Bible. Okay, where is the holy city, the new Jerusalem? It's coming down out of heaven. It's coming down. It's coming down to earth. The tabernacle of God is going to be with men and he will dwell with them. Where? It's coming down out of heaven. And so this new life, your spirit is enjoying it now. For the most part, it's connected with God. It's already experiencing this. When we pray, when we see healings and miracles, it's your physical body experiencing drips and drops of what is to come. You're tasting, you're getting a taste of what's to come in the new world, in the new heaven, the new earth. But just remember, earth is your home. <laughs> earth is where you're going to spend eternity, not in heaven, not in the great hotel in the sky, as great as it is. Okay, so don't begin to despise your physical body. As we said in the last video, your body is going to be restored, renewed to a newer physical body. But it's going to use your old body somehow again, just like God's going to use earth. Okay, so don't despise the things of God, which is your body. And we want to pray for you. We want to see your body healed and whole why not let your body be functioning at 
perfection when the Lord comes. There's nothing stopping that. There's nothing stopping that from happening. Jesus came to bring life, life to your body right now. Now I want to pray for you. I want to pray that you taste the powers of the age to come, whether you're having a pain in your back, a pain in your heart, a heartache, an emotional pain, a stub toe, whatever the case may be, wherever the pain is, whatever the cause, I want to see it go right now in Jesus' name. And I want you to taste the powers of the age to come through the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ. Okay, so if you can, get somewhere where you can relax and maybe spend a few minutes with God. If you can't, that's okay too. But I just want you to be still, be aware of your body. Please don't turn that into some kind of work where you have to focus or you got to strain to relax. Just see what, if, if you're having those issues, just see what happens in your body. Just monitor what goes on in your body, just like you would at a doctor's visit or your mind, your heart, whatever the case may be, wherever you're feeling the pain, all right? So just take a couple of minutes right now, monitor that. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your grace and your presence, your glory and your peace the, and the powers of the age to come coming upon this person right now in Jesus' name. All pain, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, in the name of Jesus Christ, all pain leave right now in Jesus' name. Whatever the cause is, be healed in Jesus' name. Whether it's trauma, whether it's a scratch, whether it's some sort of disease, in the name of Jesus Christ, all pain go right now. Body, mind, heart, soul, spirit, be healed, be set free. In Jesus name any sort of demon any sort of wicked spirit that's coming against this person in the name of Jesus Christ I command you demon wicked spirit leave this person and never return in Jesus name leave them and never return in the name of Jesus Christ everything not of God everything from the kingdom of darkness leave this person's body mind heart soul spirit leave in Jesus name body be healed father thank you that the river of life flows over them right now in jesus name every cell every atom every thought every essence of them in jesus name thank you for the river of light washing over it right now in jesus name body be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, if you're starting to feel something going on if, in your body, if you're starting to feel bodily or emotionally the powers of the age to come, just relax and spend that time with God, okay? For those of you that aren't, test things out. Is the pain gone down a little bit? If it isn't, test it out in a few hours. Listen to this prayer again if you need to, and then watch what happens in the coming days emotionally and physically so father we thank you for everything that's been done and everything you're doing and everything that you will do right now in jesus name in the name of jesus christ be healed be set free be delivered in jesus name taste the powers of the age to come drink in the powers of the age to come in jesus name